Just got a delivery of my 1953 Gibson L50. It's surprisingly well packed uh, for a broken arch top. Uh, figured I'd just do this sort of unboxing style and uh, give you my first impressions um, on what this is like. Got the outer layer of crap off. You can already hear things flopping around, so. That's somewhat expected. Hopefully this is no worse than I expect, but I guess we'll see. So there it is, my new to me 1953 Gibson L50. Uh, you can already hear that there is stuff rattling around in the inside. That is not ideal. Um, but let's take a look and kind of see, we'll go head to toe and kind of see what I think about this. So like a lot that I've read, uh, the tuner buttons here, um, they're, they're disintegrating. Uh, luckily, uh, quite a few companies actually make replacements for these. So I think what I can do is actually take the plastic pieces off, the metal pieces, and they appear to still be turning. Maybe I can clean these up, oil them up a little bit, see kind of where we are with that. Uh, this truss rod cover looks like might be cracked. Got a bit of a headstock crack here, which I guess is kind of a, a Gibson standard. If we can get this on camera here, but there's a headstock crack towards, you know, kind of long ways here, which, you know, kind of looks like it's, it's a pretty clean break. Maybe I can just jam some glue into that. Um, coming down the fretboard, so it's got a Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Um, one thing that's really sticks out about this guitar is that it, it almost, it doesn't smell like smoke per se, it almost smells like barbecue a little bit. It's definitely got a very vintage vibe to it. Um, yeah, so as I said, Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Uh, this inlay is popped up here, so that's gonna need repair. This one's popped up right here. Well, the rest of them aren't too bad. Tiny frets. It's hard to hard to believe how low these are. I get the feeling that this isn't even playable at this point. The nut looks kind of crusty and it looks plastic, so I don't think that's original. Probably replace that with a bone nut. And so let's get to the body here. So the body, you know, it feels pretty solid. Somebody put their initials on the what I assume to be the original pick guard. Um, so that's nice. Got this a top crack here that's, that's definitely needs reinforcement. This top crack here is even worse. Um, given that this is so bad, I can almost guarantee that I need to take the top or the back off to try and figure out you know, how to really reinforce this, make sure it's, it's good and stable. Top seam is split right here. I knew that from the pictures. Um, it actually looks like you could press this down pretty well, and so that's not too bad. 
And a lot of nicks and dents, which of course I would have expected. I mean, I did see the pictures before I, I bought this. You know, the sides aren't too bad. I don't see any obvious cracks on this side. Uh, yeah, I don't see any cracks. All I see is, is just, you know, some dirt. Uh, I don't know if this has been resprayed or not, or if this is, might just be lacquer checking. Binding appears to be original. It's white, or it's cream in a lot of places, and then white on the edges, I think, where the lacquer got rubbed off. Mm. Hear the thing bouncing around in here. Some sort of red something on the back. It almost looks like candle wax. Uh, yeah, but overall, I mean, the finish, I mean, this is this is a guitar from 1953, and so I don't know. That finish is like, like again is kind of messed up. Maybe I don't know if maybe this might be water damage. It almost looks like water kind of seeped up into this area. Of course, that would probably explain why there's cracks and things if there was some sort of water damage. But overall, I mean, this guitar is in in much better shape that I may have anticipated, which is great. I mean, I'm still going to have to take it apart and fix these cracks properly, which is, you know, going to take quite a bit. But this, uh, this crack here actually isn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was a much wider crack. Um, it appears that I need to, you know, use some sort of force to try and push the sides in, get the top back to where it needs to be. But uh, overall, as, as sort of a a funny thing to bid on and win. I'm, this doesn't bother me. I, uh, this will be the first time I've ever tried to uh, restore uh, anything. And uh, all things considered, not a particularly expensive example, certainly not a, a collectible uh, guitar, but when I'm done, hopefully I have a playable vintage Gibson Archtop.